hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to do a quick review of my lacoste men's croco synthetic metallic sandals these i bought last year in the month of november this i'm doing is a seven month review of these sandals i bought them from lacoste india online website and they retail for 3650 rupees since I am a Lacoste um, member, I had some loyalty points, so I eventually got them for 3,242 rupees. These sandals I only wear at home to lounge around and I must say these sandals are extremely comfortable. They are made of they are 100% synthetic, they have synthetic uppers, you have this embroidered metallic oversized crocodile on the strap, textile and synthetic linings and PU outsole. In regards to fit and sizing, they are pretty much true to size. I wear a US 10 on my Solomon shoes and a US 8.5D on my Red Wing Mock Toe and Iron Ranger boots. On this pair of sandals, I pretty much took the same size with that is US 9 and they, are, and they fit me pretty much okay because these are sandals so I don't mind even if my toe comes till here in my boots and shoes I usually would want kind of this much of gap between my toe and the toe box of the boot that kind of hits so I would usually want it because I find it very comfortable that way but for my sandals I would usually want a true to size um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because if you're contemplating to buy a Lacoste footwear or a sandal this is the first time I have owned a Lacoste sandal and I've been wearing it only at home. You have to be mindful of the fact that in seven months this started to like give away the synthetic uppers that is glued to this midsole. There you go. So that's not very pleasing for a sandal that's only been used and worn at home in seven months it kind of has this that's not very encouraging otherwise um, these sandals are extremely comfortable to lounge at home what else What I also don't like about these white sandals is, and of course going forward, I will not be wearing white sandals anymore, even at home, because it tends to get very dirty. You can see the footbed of this sandal, it's kind of become black. That is something I personally don't like, but that's again a pros and cons of owning and wearing a white sandal. Also, if you see the stain over here on the strap, I really don't know what it is. I thought it was, I think I dropped some food, but this is a very stubborn stain. I tried my best to rigorously rub it with detergent, with some soap and some detergent. It still didn't come out. And I usually wash these sandals very frequently because I don't like these stains on the footbed. But even with frequent washing, this is how it kind of wears in. You can see some wear marks here as well. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I will see you soon on my next video. 
Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. Oops, I forgot. They are made in Indonesia.